welcome back. In this lesson, we'll cover how to import information from enrollment applications. When a school has decided to accept a student's application, they can change the form status to approved. Only applications with the approved status can have their information imported into the student's tab of Gradelink. Schools can import either one individual application to a student's tab or multiple applications at once. To import an individual application, click the Enroll Me tab on the left sidebar. Select an application in workflow with the approved import pending status and note that a selected application will be highlighted in yellow. Imports can only happen for approved applications. Click on the Import sub tab at the top of the page. Click on the Create Import button. Click on the Run Import button. To import multiple applications at once, click the Enroll Me tab on the left sidebar, then click the Batch Import sub tab at the top of the page. To select all the student applications at once, click the Select All button. To deselect all the student applications, click the Clear All button. If you only need to import a handful of student applications, you can click on their individual names. You'll know a student is selected because a check mark will appear to the left of the name and the row with their information will then be highlighted in green. Once you have selected the students to import, click the Run Import button. Please note that if a student needs to be re-imported, for example, if changes have been made to their application after already importing them, click the Enable Re-Import checkbox next to the Run Import button. This will cause already imported students to display below. In order to prevent student grade levels from increasing twice, importing will not change grade levels of existing students in the Students tab. This allows schools to use the Promote feature without worrying about whether a student's enrollment application has already changed their grade level. One thing schools may notice when going to the Students tab is that new enrollments will not immediately show up in the main student list. This is because they will first show up under the new enrollments list. They will become part of the active list of students when you promote students up one grade level after the previous school year has finished. This ensures that new enrollments are not moved up to grade levels. However, you can manually make new enrollments active. Simply go to the Students tab, click the All Active drop-down menu at the top of the page, select New Enrollments. Then select a student and change their status to active. Click the Save button at the bottom of the page. Gradelink recommends importing student applications in Enrollme after the last term of the school year is finished and all classes have been concluded. Sometimes, a parent of an existing student accidentally fills out a new enrollment application. When this happens, you can import the information to the student's existing student profile found in the Students tab in Gradelink. To do so, click the Enrollme tab on the left sidebar then select the student application that you want to import as a re-enrollment and on the workflow sub tab at the top of the page change the student's form status from approved to started in the drop down menu titled link to student or import as re-enrollment which appears next to the form status drop down menu select the student's existing student profile change the student status back to approved click the import sub tab at the top of the page then click the Create Import button. Click the Run Import button. The current student will now have updated information in their student profile and no duplicate students will be created. There may be occasions where an application for an existing student was mistakenly entered as a new enrollment and this may get overlooked in Enrollme, causing there to be two student profiles for the student. If there is no academic or financial information in the newer student profile, you can merge the most recent information from the latest application into the existing student profile. Click the Students tab, locate the student with two profiles, and make note of the student IDs. The existing student profile will have a lower number than most recent profile created. Click the Newer Profile. Click the Delete button at the bottom of the list of students. Click the Enroll Me tab on the left hand side of the page. Select the application that needs to be imported to the existing student profile 
and change the status from approved to started. In the link to student import as re-enrollment drop-down menu, select the existing student's profile. Change the form status to pending for five seconds in order to allow Gradelink to prepare to sync the information to the student profile. Change the form status to approved. Click the import sub tab at the top of the page and then click the create import button. Finally, click the run import button. However, if the student has two student profiles that both have academic and financial information, you will need to send an email to service at gradelink.com to have Gradelink merge the two student accounts into one. Thank you for joining us for this lesson. To learn how to set up and manage email notifications, please proceed to the next lesson.